Hi, this is Ashwini and welcome back to another video of playlist of interview questions. In this video, we will discuss some important question of a string. So without waste time, let me start this video. Okay, what is the very first question? Why Java provided a string constant pool as we having already a heap memory? Basically, the question says like why Java provided a heap memory, right? Sorry, a string constant pool memory, a string constant pool as we already have heap memory. Okay, uh, what is the answer of this question is uh, first read this uh, two points if you're not getting it by by reading it Let me make you understand. Okay, why Java provided a string constant pool? So this will help you and upcoming two three questions also depend on heap and uh, this constant pool So those are very very important questions Which gonna ask an interview if you are appearing for an interview It's a hundred percent chance you will be facing all like two three questions from this list. Okay, now, this will be help in the spending up, speeding up the application and also help in saving a memory. Uh, this is a very generic answer, okay? If you say this to your interviewer, you will say, okay, this is a generic answer. Everything will be speeding up, right? And saving a memory in Java if you are doing something good. So give me the exact reason. So if you say this, he will ask you the reason for definite purpose. So what is the reason is string constant pool provides a facility of reusable. Uh, and what is a string constant pool? Uh, let me add, tell you here. Okay, if you do something in Java like this, like a string, like you here, if you say like uh, string, okay, and s equals to, and you put my name, ASSWNI. So what happened in there, like one object created in a string constant pool, and whenever you create your same, uh, again, you are trying to create the same object with the same, uh, this is string literal, then it will use from the string constant pool. If you do not have the proper idea of a string constant pool, let me know, I will create a separate video on that. Okay, so what it said string constant pool provide the facility of reusable of existing string objects when a new string object is created using a string literal. So what is a string literal? Anything under this uh, s equals to hello. So hello is a string literal. Okay, then JVM first check in a pool if string already existing or not if exist. If this already available in a string constant pool, then it will be referred to the existing string rather than creating a new one. I hope now you understand what is a uh, why they are providing this string constant pool. Why? Because whenever you are creating an object, a JVM goes to a string uh, constant pool, checking the same name literal. If already existing, then it does not create a new object. It or uh, what it does, it usable reuse reuse that literal and create a, the object and reference and giving a reference to the same. How like uh, if someone creating a hello here, right? And you are creating a S one. So it will give a refer to it. Okay. Now let's move to the next question and do not waste time on a one question, right? I hope you understand this. Still you have any question, just comment it down. I will help you to understand this. Okay. Why a string is not used for a storing a password rather than a character array is preferred to the same. The same logic which we have understood in the first question, it goes here and applies here. Okay. Because you have a knowledge of a string constant pool and heap area, right? So now read it. In this case, uh, passwords, right? If a string is used, it will be available in the memory for longer duration, right? It will be a security risk. With access to the memory, them can access a password, right? If something available into the memory, like in your heap area, right? If you are creating an object like this, you say string and s equals to new right and a string here you are creating an object with the name of like uh, this is your constructor and uh, ashwini we are creating an object like this right so it available in heap area for longer duration of time if someone is having access to your memory uh, and you they can access your password now this is a generic answer okay the important one i highlighted in a red okay so now I read it a second one if we use character array for storing a password, we can set it to the blank once we are done to the creating of it, right? And once you having a string object, you not set it to the blank, either you can reference to the null, so garbage collector is able to destroy it. You can't do that like in an object, you put a null and null, it is not preferable, right? But in a character array, you can send, uh, you can set it to the like blank once you are done with your password and all. So we are can control for now, for how long password will be available in a memory so once you have the array and you can set it to the 
like blank or something you have the control in your character array right from uh, which duration from here to here your password is available right but in a string object you, you can't do this like once you are put a ashwani in it either you have a chance to refer to the null so garbage collector destroyed it otherwise like are destroying either destroying you don't have anything else right but in in case of character array you can set it to the blank right now set it to the blank moving to the next question which object is popular to the hash map key and why okay so string is the most popular hash key why look let me give you the to do if you want to read it uh, read it okay otherwise i will give you the one question uh, sorry uh, one uh, explanation if you have a string and create an object with the use of string literal or new keyword whatever you want to do so by calculating hash map there is a two uh, method right hash code and equals so suppose this is your literal right hello and for this your hash code will be calculated like something uh, 929208 right this is your hash code and you put this hello in your hash map so same of this string is a immutable in nature right so always your hash code will be like this so whenever you are putting a key like a string key in a hash map compiler or jvm doesn't need to do a extra work every time it always like go once and create a hash code for a particular hello and using this because a string is a immutable in a nature because it does not changing its behavior for hello there will be a same hash code and for ashwani like if you are creating a hash code for ashwani and there will be a same hash code like uh, let's suppose we are using 65320 right and if you are creating something if you are adding something it new object will be created and for that also new hash code will be calculated so now read it string is a popular hash uh, string is a popular hash key hash map key this is we call string is a immutable in a java so the hash code of string is cached every time it created and does not need to be calculated again this makes a process faster than the hash map other than keys right in other keys so i hope you understand what i am trying to say because of its immutable behavior we don't need to be calculated jvm don't need to be calculated each and every time right for each and every immutable because it is stored in a cache whenever it came to the key it it checked from the cache okay it is available then for definite purpose hash code of this immutable key is available so it using that uh, so reusability function is came here so uh, somewhere when reusability came in a picture like in inheritance obviously the performance of the system will become faster right now go to the next question explanation character like this is a very rare question it might be a chance of 50 50 that ask in an interview or not okay what is the difference between utf and utf 16 uh, this is in a one byte and this is a second one two byte right so let me make you understand in detail encoding is a way of converting data from one r to the another right character encoding referred to the method when we when a character is represented by a byte now utf8 uses a one byte it means 8 bit and utf uses a two byte it means 16 bit to store a character nothing else okay you can make you like interview and understand like what do you, it does mean by utf and utf 16 you most probably uh, uh, seen this in XML files when you are dealing with, right? Now, your next question is, why does a string uh, like tokenizer in Java? Okay, in most of the cases when you are facing a tokenizing problem or you are uh, working on tokenizer, you are using this class, okay? A string tokenizer. In, available in java.util, you string tokenizer. To break the string into the token like if you having a particular one string from here to here if you want to break into the tokens this is string you can use a string tokenizer okay string tokenizer doesn't provide it the facility to differentiate identifiers and codes and string and numbers like a string tokenizer class okay now we have like this six methods let me make you understand what six method is in string tokenizer okay what is next token it checked a value of next token like okay next token and next element what is the difference between this you check the next token and it it's check the next object element okay and hash more next as same as we used in the collection okay and counts token whatever uh, like tokens available and next token string delimiter like you are using a delimiter like this colon or comma 
on the basis of that it like give you the next uh, your token and ha has more elements and has more uh, token uh, it's equals both are working in the same way okay now moving to the next question suppose there is a code in which a lot of string modification okay just read it a uh, very clearly this question it is very important question and multiple time this question asks to me in an interview this is very 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 important okay and string concatenation is going on which class among string buffer okay string and string builder will improve your performance of the code keep thread safe and th thread safety in mind okay now what is it string buffer will give you the better performance now you say to your interviewer string buffer by looking to the in this answer but you need to give an explanation why string buffer right so string it is immutable whenever you just making your modification this modification and concatenation it take down your performance right performance is down now talk about the next one that is string builder yeah this is not a immutable but it is not a thread safe multiple thread can access at a time now come to the string buffer so one and only one option is came this will make your performance faster right i hope you understand this question right and i answer both now came back write a code in java to prove that a string object are immutable okay let me take you to the now here what I am doing, I am creating a one object with, with the use of string literal that is Ashwini and second object with the use of string Ashwini. So what is outputted it? It is true and what is outputted it? I am just what, what I am doing here, concatenating an article into the S1. So let me run my program and show you. So what it is true and false. How? Because here both the literals are same S1 and S2. So it is answered true. And this answer is false because I do concatenation like I'm adding something into that S1. So now it is start referring to the another object, right? So that's why it's throwing me a false. So now it clearly you can visible it here. Like with the literals are same, it referring to the same object because dot like equal equals comparing to the reference variable. So not sorry, reference address, right? Uh, so that's why it address is same. So output is true. Again, I change something due to the immutable behavior of a string. Now it is start pointing to the another object. So it's here output is a false. So this is a actual thing when we say string object are immutable, right? Now move back to the another question. So this is a wrong thing. I have just uh, forget to edit it. So leave it. Okay. Now. What is the difference between s dot equal book and book equals s1 where s1 represent an object on a string? Okay, fine. Let me make you understand. Let's go to the code. It says what is the difference between s1 dot equals book and book dot equals s1. So let me run this program, right? If you run this program, what is the output it is? true true right came in down true and true but the difference is when you say at the moment here s1 equals to null you can do it right in a string so let run this program again now what it says when you perform any operation on null it cannot invoke string dot equals null because s1 is to the null so you can't do it like you cannot perform equals on a null and if i comment this one now it will be run perfectly and give me the answer to the false okay why because book can comparable to the equals null you can pass here null because why it is expecting your string so you can represent your s1 null so this case like passing null here and declaring or initializing s1 equals to null is equal right so it is like valid in java but performing equals on top of null it is invalid in java that's why it's throwing me an error so you can make your interviewer understand like i can't perform any operation on top of null but i can pass a null into the equals method because by 
initializing s1 like initializing string to the null is valid in java but it's un, like invalid when you are performing any operation on the null okay so these are the some few questions of a string uh, we will continue this series of interview question and i will see you in a next video with some other topic you can suggest me whatever the interview question you want on next video till then i will see you in the next video take care bye bye